Let's find the x-intercept, y-intercept, and slope of the equation if they exist and graph it. So here's our equation, 2x minus 3y equals 6. Well, I like to put it into y equals mx plus b form because right away I see what my slope is and my y-intercept. So I've already answered, answered half of that question. So let's do that. I'm going to rewrite the equation just as it is. Now, to get it into y equals mx plus b form, I need to have y by itself. So if I look here, if I have a positive 2x, the opposite of adding 2x is subtracting 2x. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides of the equation. Remember, I'm trying to get y by itself. So that leaves me with negative 3y equals negative 2x plus 6. Now, I need to get y by itself to look like my formula. So I'm going to divide by negative 3, and actually I divide each part by negative 3. So I'll get y equals, now negative over negative is a positive, so I'll have positive 2 thirds x. 6 divided by negative 3 is negative 2. So right away I see that my slope, let's put that here, my slope is 2 thirds, and my y-intercept is 0, negative 2. So the only things left to answer in this question are what are my x-intercept and then graph it. So let's graph it first. Remember we always graph the y-intercept first. So I'm going to go down to negative 2 and put a dot. The slope remember is rise over run. So that means I'm going to go up 2 and run 3 from my y-intercept. I'm going to go up 2 and run 3, 1, 2, 3. I'm going to go up 2, 1, 2, and run 3, 1, 2, 3. And then I'm going to draw my line, and hopefully yours will be straighter because you'll be using a ruler. And remember I like to label it minus 3y equals 6. So here's my graph. Now the last part we didn't answer is find the x-intercept. Well, here's my x-intercept, and it was pretty easy to find when I was doing my slope. So if this is my b, my y-intercept, um, negative 3, 0 is my x-intercept. And I just answered this question, 